You can learn a lot just from reading the data and paying attention to the story it tells. However, to avoid being overwhelmed by vast amounts of data, we must take a more strategic and structured approach to understanding what it's saying. We do so by answering some very specific questions. In this section, I will provide a framework that can be used to clearly identify characteristics of your most high value customers, and it will help you not get bogged down in the nice to know data, but unactionable data. This is what we call a holistic profile. The holistic profile is a document that will clearly articulate the emotional, product, and physical needs of your potential customers as it relates to your product or category. You will specifically understand their attitudes and values, their habits and practices. The goal here is to articulate clearly so you can later understand how to tap into those emotional points of tension. Demographics is where you articulate age, location, gender, or other characteristics of your target. Your prime prospect will be an articulation of a laser-focused target that is a subset of the broader target. It represents the most motivating target consumer. We can then use data from our holistic profile to create a persona, which is a fictional character that communicates the primary characteristics of a group of users, identified and selected as a key target through the use of segmentation data across the company in a usable and effective manner. So here is a persona template. We use data from research, focus groups, and other conversations from our sales team, et cetera, along with our intuition and empathy to develop a clear articulation of this customer. Here is an example of a persona. We will use customer data, research, testimonials, our sales team, reviews from our customer service team, all that information to help us to articulate who our persona is. And when we create our persona, we'll write a brief description, what we call a bio, which is a brief understanding of who that customer is. We'll articulate their personality traits and preferred channels that they use to connect with or understand this particular business or category. The holistic profile that we created before will help us to fill out the physical and emotional and product needs when we think about the goals that we've articulated. The frustrations and motivations in the holistic profile can be re-articulated in the attitudes, behaviors, and value section. And when we think about the preferred channels that this customer might use, we would also look at the attitudes, behaviors, and value sections of that holistic profile. So here are a few things to consider when creating a B2B persona. You're gonna to wanna to consider what are common job titles? What is their organizational level or department or functional level? Who do they report to? What are their stresses that they might deal with on a regular basis? Do you need to help them make a decision or do you need to help them convince others in the organization to make a decision? What do they do on a day-to-day -day basis? What are their personal goals, objectives? What does it take for them to get a promotion, raise recognition? How is their work evaluated and measured? When thinking specifically business to consumer, there are also a few specific factors you wanna consider. What is their personal background? What are their demographics, age, gender, geography, family? What are their finances, their spending habits, their income level? Spend a day in their life. What do they think about on a daily basis? Typically, your products or services are not at the core of what they do on a daily basis. So consider how these habits may impact their interaction with your product or service. What are their fears, their worries, their hopes, their dreams? What challenges do they need to overcome and how can you help them to overcome those challenges? What technology do they use? How do they use media brands that they might already have an affinity with? We have to consider all of these when actually articulating who our persona is. Couple key points to remember. Number one, don't make things up. We use data, but also our empathy to tell a story. And finally, don't add arbitrary details. Keep your bias out of the equation and keep focused on the data.